Hey y'all, welcome to another WordPress Wednesday. My name is Corey Ashton and I have a really cool plugin to show you in the budget of free that will help you put blog posts inside of boring old pages. This is how you do it. And I have to give a shout out to Bernadetta for bringing this plugin to my attention. Thank you so much for telling me about it. And of course I had to share it with the whole community, right? So very, very cool. So let's just say you have a boring page just like this, like about us page, and you'd like to put some blog articles down here. How do you do that? Well, Bernadetta told me about PostGrid. So super cool plugin, highly recommended. And I'm gonna show you how to install it and how to go ahead and get it set up. So we're gonna move a little quickly, but you're gonna to go to your plugin section and click Add New. That's where you'll go look for it. So you're looking for PostGrid. Once it's there, you go ahead and install and activate it, of course. You wanna be sure that everything's compatible with your recent version. I've already installed it. So now there's a section over here on the left side called PostGrid, you're gonna click on that and let me walk you through how to set one up. Because basically what it's gonna allow you to do is gather together in groups any blog posts you want. You can put them in groups, you can filter out some. It's mind blowing what this thing allows you to do and it's pretty darn simple. So I'm gonna click new post, new grid post here and I'm gonna say about us page and really this is just for your own uh, kind of tracking so you know where you're putting these grids and see it gives you a short code. So this short code is what we'll ultimately go put on that page. So right now I'm gonna tell it though what posts to put together to display on that page. So I'm gonna select posts and I'm gonna select uh, all the categories that I might want to display there. And if you want multiple categories on a, um, you can hold down your shift button or on a Mac you can hold down your command button. It gives you all sorts of options here for post status, how many p uh, posts you want to display, you know, do you want to include or exclude some? How do you want to uh, order them by ascending or descending? You can even randomly select the order of them. That's kind of cool. Up here at the top, you've got layout options. So that's really amazing. You also have, um, oh, wait a second. Or you also have layout settings. This right here is what I want to show you. I want to do masonry, which is super cool, nice layout, and that's beautiful on a mobile device. You can manipulate the width or the height, the background color. I'm gonna leave everything in the default setting for now for the, for the sake of this particular tutorial. And the navigation settings, you can change anything when it comes to how the pagination sits for previous and next options. So super cool there. Um, one thing I wanted to show you here though, they do have other options on how they display on the page. Ah, it's just beautiful. Way to go guys. Once you've made all these settings and tinkered around with it a little bit, you can click publish. So now you've got that short code. You wanna copy that on your clipboard right now and we're gonna run over the page that we wanna paste this into. We're gonna click about, go into the edit mode here and go down to the bottom of the page and paste in our short code. So now that sits right here and I'm gonna click update and check this out as we come back over here and click refresh. Now at the bottom of my about us page, I've got really cool blog post sitting here in a really beautiful masonry area. And of course, if you click on one and go right into it, there's your blog. How cool is that, you guys? Oh my goodness, such a cool find. I hope this helps you. If you have any questions, be sure to put them in the discussion box below or give me a tweet. I would love to help you any way I can. And I'll see you next WordPress Wednesday. Bye, y'all.